Under a standard possession order, both parents are entitled to periods of extended summer possession. But let's talk about the non-primary parent first. The non-primary parent is typically entitled to at least 30 days of extended periods of possession over the summer if they live within 100 miles of the primary parent. Now, the non-primary parents got to designate those, those 30 days in between the time that the child is released from school and it's got to end at least seven days before the child goes back to school. We use where the child's primary residence is in determining what school calendar we follow. And ultimately, if the non-primary parent doesn't timely designate by April 1st, then the non-primary parent will have a default, which will be from July 1st through July 31st.